Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. And we are not at the top of the standings, you guys. Not even it, is, man. it has come time to put on your clogs and start clogging our way, way back. back the, uh, <laughs> the boom rolls really have uh, taken a toll. They really have. Also, our general gameplay has taken I mean, there's a that. toll. <laughs> taking a, I, mean, taking a, a I don't want to say it's entirely the boom rules. Because there have been games that we've lost significantly with no boobs, no but, boobs. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, you know, it is it is good to throw some of the losses on that. Right. Uh, but we're not going to lose to Ender Wiggins and his, and, his, and, his, and his dumb old dragons today. Right, I mean, right. dragons right. aren't scary. He's not even 50-50 with his win record. I mean, at least we have that going for That's us. That's right. That is We right. are as good as a quarter is heads. That's right. <laughs> a quarter is heads. <laughs> exactly. Is that a you saying? get it. No. I feel like it should be a saying. <laughs> I really feel like it should be like as a good as a quarter is it. A quarter is heads. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're at the Badlands. The Badlands. The big level. As I, I feel like it's big. It's like it's, it's like a little uh, slopey. Slopey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. little it, it slopey. Makes it so that it's a really very easy to center a ball. Mm, well, then let's very easily center many balls. You guys balls. are in ace position. Oh, right. I got it. Oh, oh, yeah. right. I went so in it. warm ups, we discovered that whenever somebody goes on defense oh! and tries to pick up some boost to guard the goal, oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's all right. It's coming around. It's coming around. Sorry, Ben. Anytime totally someone picks up a oh no, I've been oh, boom! No. Oh no! Oh, no. Someone has to do some booming. I am already out. We're only 15 seconds in. This oh, is this terrible. Is not good. Not good uh, indeed. Ben, you were talking about. Uh, oh, yeah. Any, anytime playing defense, though, and um, anybody goes for like the boost, they can just sit in front of the goal. <clears throat> boost ready. They score. It's always when you just. No, no! no! I tried to bounce it out. I'm sorry. Come on! Oof. This oh, is not man. Good. This is I'm a just rough gonna... start. This is a real rough start. We've been boomed early. I just want everyone at home to know that Jay set his controller down because <laughs> it's just such a, such a painful it's, thing. It's, not, it's hard to... It is unpleasant. Alright, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna go for it here. I'm in goal, guys. I got D. Well, then yeah, Jay's D. gonna give excellent advice today. Yeah, yeah I hope yeah, so. Yeah, that's uh, right. Hope so. Hopefully not, though, because they're gonna boom someone real quick. Yeah. That's so, we have a question happen. from Tim that I actually really love. Hey, Tim. Good old Tim. Tim. Uh, he says, hey, Ben, Jay, DK, and Dordan. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I love that that stuck around. Uh, I am close to graduating high school, and I want to take a break from school for a little while after high school and get a job, then go to college later. But my friends think I'm crazy. What do you guys recommend? Oh, oh man. Boy. So the gap year, right? That's the, the question. The old gap, gap year. year. This is, I feel like it's a, I don't know. There's parts of me that wish, like, I'd known more. It's so hard going into college to know, like, what kind of major you want, because in high school you're not often given much exposure to things that aren't, like, Ge like, you know, your core subjects. Yeah, right. Geology, um, is that yeah, what you're going to say? Geography. Say geography and, uh, yeah, unless you want to major in math or uh, biology or high school physics, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it can be hard, and then once you go learn about stuff... It is, it is oh, weird how... I helped! You helped! It is oh, weird no. how oh. majors are like electives in high school. Right. It is so hard to oh. boom somebody when you're just trying to, like, boom them. It's so hard when they just keep literally rattling it off the goal, and we just keep not getting it free. There I am. Oh, they, um, look, they even bumped me out of the way. I was so gonna get that. But yeah, literally. So in in high or in college, I was a um, business good. marketing and management or entrepreneurial management major, and um, I'm gonna get it. Ooh, I'm not. You know, this helped today. I did it. Um, but the only time where I ever got to take a marketing class in high school was my senior year, and it was sports marketing, and it was a straight up joke. We literally played fantasy football as like a part of the uh, curriculum. Wow, oh, that's that sounds fun. awesome. What? I mean, it was great, like it was fun, but like the educational opportunity was uh, a little not. Yeah. <laughs> so my thought would be, but so like I my, I often found that like it was good to learn stuff, and then like once you got um, into the actual environment of the job, of like a job, you could no. like sort of see how it would come into play and you knew like a little bit better. No. Like it's hard to like know how to apply stuff you're learning when you're just learning about it conceptually. Right, right. But um, everything is in theory when you're when you're learning at right, school. Right, exactly. So you don't know exactly how much of it you need to take at face value and how much of it is more like a theory behind, or like the idea behind it sort of thing. Um, so my thought would be if you absolutely know what you want to major in like you are you have a very clear goal for your future 
like let's say you you want to be a, an economist or something and you have an internship already lined up where you can go work in some office and get first-hand experience like I would say then you're probably in a pretty good position to take that year learn everything you can because then when you go actually learn the concepts <laughs> behind everything you were doing it everything like it makes so much more sense Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, there's there's really just so much to be said, I think. Like, when I was in college, the people that were in the classroom with me that were a little bit older and had some more world experience were far and away the best students in the class. Right. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, they, they knew why they were learning. They appreciated the money that was being spent. Like, this is one of those things, like, if you ever s skip a college class, it's like... It's like, what are you? What are you doing? Right. It's like I paid yeah. three hundred dollars for this class today. Like this, 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 class like, the, the, this individual class has and been three hundred dollars right, worth of money. An hour of your time. <laughs> right. right. And you decided to sleep in instead. Yeah. Don't. It's do like that. it's yeah. like yeah. Don't don't sleep in. Um, appreciate what you're learning. Understand that you are paying yeah. a lot of money to be learning it. Oh, no! but so, so let me flip this though because oh, Jay, you boy. just sort of gave an example of like an internship, some actual good world experience. Right. Um, what if somebody wanted to go travel the world? Like, oh, what if they wanted to go and spend this okay. time getting just like the opportunity to go and become? I mean, if you're in I you have the money. Uh, I mean, I guess that that's Shoot. down to you. I don't know. Like, there's there's study abroad programs though. You know, where you can you can still travel whilst you're at school, which I 100% recommend because it's one of my biggest regrets from college. That yeah, doing. same, same, same. Oh uh, man, I think um, it's good to go and get lost a little bit and have to figure yeah. out how to like solve your own issues and yeah, um, and and maybe even exist without a lifeline a little bit. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So let me give another example. Um. When I, uh, I was studying communications and we had to do a lot of like, um, you know, video editing, go do reporting stuff out in the field. It was kind of like prepping to be like a reporter post college or whatever. And so I remember getting to like the, the level of school where, you know, you'd have to go out and edit, edit video every week. Sure. And I had already been doing this for about a year just on the vlog, just on my uh, my own personal YouTube channel. John Carlin. Yeah, John Carlin. And I was like Still the only today. person, I swear, in my whole class who even knew about the huh. existence of, oh gosh, like YouTube as like a platform at that time. Um, so no one else had any video editing experience. I was like kind of way the best editor in the class. And I thought I was just like, oh, I know so much about this. I've already got all this. But what I found really useful was like, I had like all the basics down from just like self-taught stuff. But then when I was in the nope. class and I had like a professor be like, okay, so, you know, they'd be explaining stuff to kids, to the other students, and, you know, they would say, this is how you do it, and then this is how you do it effectively, which is hard, it's hard to take in both things at once. Yeah. You know, you have to learn, like, but for me, it was super easy, like, I already knew exactly how to do all the basics, and then once I had like direction from a professional who like, could tell me how to make things look good, or like, how to more purposefully use things, I found it enormously more instructive than any other part of my college learning. Because I already had like a base understanding. Sure. Um, yeah, it was like, oh, here's all the secrets. You got all the, hey, you, you know the know, buttons. Wanna know what else is a secret? Yeah. You help us win games. Oh, well, I, I did not get to help much that game. First off, I had four shots and only one goal, which is upsetting. Oh, that, that <laughs> um, is upsetting. I, uh, I think you can't like purposely try to boom somebody. I think you just have to keep playing. I think and hope it happens. And yeah. hope it, it's hard. It is it's hard. Like I, like I was actively trying to boom people all over there. I um, was. Wait, because but if you miss, then you're just terribly out of position. Right. That's a big thing. Yeah. It's like because yeah. you're just flying. Let's go ahead and start the next game. Yeah. Let's go ahead. You're just get flying in it. into the action over yeah. and over again, and then you're ten meters over. Yeah, right. Exactly. And then, and then you're out of like, position. Well, I'm in. And then I can score. You know, Calcutta, and the, the game is taking place in Kentucky, and now we're. Yep. Here we go. Um, one, back. Of, one of my thoughts with this whole gap year thing is why he wants to take a gap year. Because yeah. if it, he says he wants to work, so if he's doing it for money, That's... I definitely do not think that that is the the most effective way to do it. Because you won't be able to earn enough in a single year to Better. offset your expenses. And it's it, in oh, my experience, it's really just hard missed. to get back into the learning mindset once that you've gotten thought. out of it. Yeah, right. I, that's my yes, thought too. My yes. thought is, it's probably, like if, I think select few people can effectively do this sort of break year thing where, like if you're someone who knows 
who has a pl who knows themselves really well, and if you have a plan, you always stick to it. And right, that's that's the thing is that like the answer is that a gap year is a great idea if, <laughs> if you are you... good. Right. Like if if you follow the rules of the situation, it's like joining a gym. You know, it's like joining oh, a gym is a fantastic idea you can if go. you go. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, if you're not going to go, then it's like turns out it's a lot of effort. Who knew? Right. Yeah, but like, I think you have to be pretty honest with yourself. You're like, why do you want to take it? Like, do you just want to take? Do you just not want to go to school, and yeah. you just want to like goof off for a year? Like, that's not a good reason. Yeah. You know, honestly, and I would say one of like my biggest oh, issues in favor of this idea though is like when I was in my senior year of high school, I did year-round sports. I was working two jobs and a member of quite a few like extracurricular like things, um, and I think by the time I got to college. I was spent. Like, I, I think the freedom was, like, kind of a bad thing for me. Sure. Like, I didn't know, sort of going back to the idea of, like, skipping a class or whatever is, like, like losing $300 that you just shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think that had any sense of value with that. And I think I was like, in. I worked so hard, um, and now, now there's no one here to tell me that I, I don't have to... Yeah. Yeah. You know, to um, go. I've seen, I, I had, um, I knew a guy who, oh, go, go, go. Yes. Nice. Um, nice. It was like, they went to community college, I think, for a year, and then they decided, I think they wanted to, or maybe, I don't think, maybe they did, didn't, like, try very hard, and they took a break year, and during that break year, they ended up working at, like, Home, Home Depot or something, and um, that was, like, their big wake-up call, like, this, I, this can't be the rest of my life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I have an interesting perspective on this in that I uh, took what was going to be a gap year, and then it became two years, and then it became three years. Right. And then I'm 24, and I finally go so to college. So, you, you joined because, the gym and because, didn't go. Yeah, exactly. Right. I, I, the, the thing that made me go to college is I got into a, a car accident that almost took my life, and it changed me in a, a whole lot of ways. Um, oh, I love that. And, so, don't do that. I'm glad <laughs> you're alive. Yeah, hey, me too. Um, but, uh,. I mean, like, to be fair, though, if I would have gone right away, I don't I don't know if I would have finished my degree. Um, I certainly wouldn't have gone for either of the fields that I ended up uh, taking oh courses in. Oh, boy. Ah. Yeah. Well, and one of the other open. things, too, that I think a lot of people forget is that you don't have to go to a traditional four-year institution full-time right out of high school. Like, if you want to do college, but you you aren't ready for that, you can go to community college either full-time or part-time and work there if you don't think that you are in a place where you can I, or want to handle... I think that's school. that's super true. Like, you know, our high school did this thing, and, I, and like, oh, it was great, it was a great thing that they did, um, but I almost disagree with it retroactively. But, like, at the end of the school year for senior senior year, they would have a whole list of colleges taped up all around the main lobby. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And it would be like, you know, one person's going to Harvard, 23 people are going to Virginia Tech, 27 people are going to Radford, which is where I went. Um, you know, and then it would be like, there was sort of this thing like for Virginia Western, the community college here, there was like 50 names. And so there was there was sort of this like non-exclusive nature about it. it. It kind of felt like the, oh no, oh, because you couldn't get into a real college type of thing. It, it was, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and I'm saying this in disagreement of it. Like, right. I'm, I'm saying that I it was this, this thing. I bumped this dude like three times trying to get to the ball. Okay. Um, but, you know, I, the other thing I would say is that of all the students that I had classes with junior and senior year that came from community colleges, also, I feel like, appreciated where they were that much more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, they sure. were, like, for, from their perspective, they were in the big leagues all of a sudden. Yes. Like, right. And this is, this is where you, like, you know, you it, come to play. It's interesting how that can happen. I, I found that, that was almost true of myself. Like, I, um, like, because I, like, transferred to Virginia Tech after my freshman year. Because I was like, oh, I, I really wasn't applying myself as much, and um, yeah, there we go. Did I get a pull thank shot you, on that? Thank you for hitting me into the ball. I want the pull <laughs> shot credit. And I'm like, I got it, guys. And Jay's like, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> there, I think you need a ditto adjustment there. Yep. Um, I mean, I totally agree with that. My sister uh, did community college, and I, I think part. Part of it was full time and some of it was part time. Oh, um, okay. There we go. But I would say that she, at the age of 20, is ha has as much life experience and maturity just from doing that as I did when I graduated from college. Because to some extent, like. 
for your institution is very much take care of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. And, that's, a, that's a fair point. Uh, Ooh. At a college Ooh. where, like, oh, you don't get to live on campus and yeah. you have time to do other work, you, you a little bit have that taste of the real world embedded with it. Um, so, yeah, there, I just, there are so many I'm, options. Uh, well, another thing that I would like to say is... Uh, oh, with my story is I also didn't go to school right away because of a girl. Oh, don't do that. Don't terrible. do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is a terrible We should write her a firmly written letter. I, I mean, really want to. Everything worked out for us. Via uh, snail I mean, I'm, I'm doing it right now, yeah. but uh... I mean, did you know. she tell you to not go to school? I mean, she didn't have to. I was like, we're in love. Uh, and then, <laughs> <laughs> she was such a romantic <laughs> idiot. <laughs> my, my voice was very different back then. Um, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, was, I made bad choices, so don't make bad choices. Don't make bad choices. Um, make good choices. If it's going to be, it'll be there still after college. Yep. Or especially, you know, if maybe she's not going to college, she shouldn't tell oh, you to not go. it could go the whole distance! Yeah, I mean, not I think a, a perfect anyway. example of Whoops. that is... Okay. Okay, we won! Jay and Yay! Beth, because they went oh, to yeah. different colleges right. and uh, are, are happily married Yeah, for, they're doing right. For a couple of years now? Oh, yeah, yeah I don't... Yeah, but, very yeah. true. So if Fair. it's supposed to work, it will work. That's right. If it's supposed to work, it will work. <sighs> there you go. So we won one. That's nice. Woo! <laughs> that means we're still 50-50! Oh, I'm not sure how, a... but I feel like the more Rocket League I play, the worse I get. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense, Ben. Nonsense! Oh, man. Look at well, the lovely 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, and the Cyclones. Oh, Look there we go. There. Seven, seven, seven as well. Alright, next time... We're up against the single arches. Thank you guys so much for your questions. I thought that was a good one. We had the I think it was. Episode. There was a lot. Like there was them. a lot to say about it. Yeah. I mean, we all had opinions and personal experiences. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes, many stories. I hope we were able to. Obviously, I don't want to like tell you how to live your life, but I hope we help guide the decision you eventually make that is right for you. If you have questions you want us to try and answer, leave them down in the towel section below. And thank you, otherwise, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon, boom, 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 we are not pirates.